Welcome to the ATP Project here with your host, Steve and Jeff. G'day, mate. How are you? We've changed sides. It's kind of like sleeping on one side of the bed and then your wife going, hey, I want to sleep on that side. It just, it, uh, something doesn't feel right. No, no, I'm just looking at kangaroos out there. They're distracting. So, uh, anyhow. got to focus, focus. Podcast time. Meal replacement, Steve. Yeah. Big topic. Now, it's funny. A lot of people think that they are meal replacement. Do I want to know about this? But they're one of the most utilized supplements globally. And the, there are rules and regulations around what is a meal replacement mm -hmm. and what is not. And the typical breakdown of a meal replacement, typically most people would say, well, what's in one? We yeah. know that we've got protein. Yep. We know that there's carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Most oftentimes now people are putting in um, synthetic vitamins. And in yes. fact, I believe in Australia for you to be calling a product a meal replacement, it yep. must contain synthetic vitamins. Yep, it has a certain amount of protein, certain amount of fats, certain amount of calories, certain amount of multivitamins. So they do they do add synthetic multivitamins. I've got three here um, that we can talk about or we can talk about the results, sort of depending on which way you want to go. Well, I'm interested, Steve. And again, people ask, you know, what do you do in terms of – I like not to know. Steve goes okay. out there and has a bit of a conversation and then I just throw in my two cents into the hat, right? But meal replacements, people go, well, why, why should I care about meal replacements? More and more people are using them. They're extremely convenient. Yep. Um, a lot of people use them for um, uh, fat loss yep. campaigns. They're, they're marketed through a lot of pharmacies and things like that. Uh, and there's some good – Yep. There's some bad yep. and there's some ugly. There is. So it's it's, it's really interesting. Now, why do they should know why they should know about it is because I'll give you the first thing. The good mm -hmm. is that they work to lose weight. Well, anything where you are structured in your calorie yep. control, because this is really is and probably right down the middle of the line for yep. if it fits your macros. Yep. Now, again, we always say make it fit your macros, but in terms of convenience in today's society, we understand that. Sometimes people need some structure and some help, and these things are very good at giving people macro control. They, they are. I mean, look, there's a major systemic review of meta-analysis, the effective and meal replacement for weight loss. Now, I've picked on weight loss because sure. that's what most people do meal replacements for. Yeah, it's interesting, though. I've got a caveat for that, but anyway, yeah, keep going. Some convenience and price and all that. Sure. But, but I picked this one. And basically what they did after a year, and this is a meta-analysis, so it's lots of different studies, was that after one year of either going on meal replacement – either one or two meals a day or dietary advice, the meal replacement group lost over six kilograms more weight at the end of the year. Makes sense. And I it's know. it's pretty easy to understand why, Steve. Yes. Because you know what? People just want, tell me what to do and I'll do it. Yep. Give me a system, uh, give me a package, give me a, 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 a an ability, give me what I need and I'll just do that. How many people do you hear when they go out to nutritionists and mm. uh, just tell me what to do yep. and I'll just give me the plan and I'll follow the plan. I know. And we always say as well too, if you've got a good personal trainer or a good nutritionist or or, or dietitian, mm. if they give you a plan, trust that plan and stick to it. Exactly. And so, so I mean, this this works. I mean, I, I don't like to admit that because I don't like meal replacements. Well, the, the, I th th put it this way. You can look at things from a top level and yep. you can go, did it work? Yes. Steve, would you like to lose – one kilo right now, one kilo. Yeah, sure. Of, of body weight, would you? Body fat, yeah. Nah, ah, the devil's in the detail. Yeah. I can slice off your arm at the elbow. You'll survive if so long I as will. I tourniquet it. Yeah. But we, that would be about a kilo right there, Steve. It's a bit. It's a, it's a, well, my forearms are massive, of course. So maybe a kilo and a half. Maybe. No, you no. <laughs> no. But you know what I mean. Like in terms of the, and that's the thing, right? Yeah. So you can look at it, and you need to judge this from a know. multifaceted point of view. I so, know. all right, what else? Is there anything else that's good, there, Steve? That there you was another cover? systemic review that that basically confirmed the same thing. Mm -hmm. And what they did with this one was was this is another systemic review of meta analysis. Um, uh, trial and what they found with this one was that it um, that the meal replacement um, diet um, was superior to the effect of food based um, education low energy diet. So even at a low energy diet, like like okay, cut your calories and all that sort of thing. VLCD you're talking about yep, very yep. low calorie diet, very which low typically you sort of. Aiming a thousand calories or less a day. Yep, yep. up to twelve thousand, a uh, twelve hundred. So twelve thousand, mate. <laughs> yeah, twelve hundred. Yep, You're awesome. Yep. Um, so, oh, so is, is twelve hundred considered as part of the VLCD? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, in this particular study, so so they looked at all these studies on this, and it did show that the that meal replacement was more effective for weight loss. Mm -hmm. And it's like I went damn because it's portion control, Steve. It is, and 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 also convenience. It's like let let, let let's say you comply. You say okay. Have a scoop of this and that's it. Put it in water and shake it. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. Well, then you're not worrying about going out for lunch. Yep. You're not in the morning getting up, what have I got to do? Do yep. I have to measure that, weigh that? It is extremely convenient. Mm. 
And cheap. So, so, so far we're, we're talking about the pros. Yeah, we are. Right. Uh, are there some cons coming? Oh, oh, yeah. If you stop this podcast now and go, oh, he, he reckons they're great, and you're misrepresenting me because I've got some 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 other things coming up a bit All later. right, well, let's keep going with the good stuff. All right, with the good stuff. All right, now, now there's a lot of um, um, attitudes with health professionals towards these things. So mm-hmm. even though we've got two meta-analysis here showing they work, so there's no question they work for weight loss, mm-hmm. okay? Only 7% of health professionals recommend them. <laughs> okay. What are the major reasons um, why they don't? There? So are we getting it? So is there anything more that, on the positives? Because if we're going to oh, switch, switch yeah, over into there, the negative. there is. There's some that are actually not too bad and mm-hmm. there's some that are really bad. So mm-hmm. there's some that are actually not too unhealthy. Yeah. Well, I guess some of the things that I would immediately say as well, of course, you're more than just your macros. So yeah. what's in them? Yeah. You, we just had a little snippet before. I'm not sure if you follow us on Insta and on, on Facebook and, and Matt puts up some little things there, but a new study that came out showing the sweeteners that are used. Now, yeah. typically you would imagine that something with an meal replacement by definition must have a certain percentage of carbohydrates. Yeah, they do. But some some of them may use artificial sweeteners and or colors and other compounds, Steve. They do. They, right. they order some, there's some bad stuff in it. There was one that I found that didn't have a sweet, artificial, artificial sweetener in it, I should say. I still find it fascinating why you'd need an artificial sweetener. Yeah. If, you know, because I mean, again, you can, anyway, may, yeah. maybe it's to try and keep the calorie or the sugar content low, but I find the sugar content in most of these things is through the roof. Well, there's one that's really through the roof, actually. So then, why would you use sugar and an artificial sweetener, Steve? I don't get it. Well, there's not it, in 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 one that they do, and I won't mention its name. No, no, you can't. Um, it has, uh, and I'm just going to go percentages here. Mm-hmm. It has thirty one point nine percent sugar, mm-hmm. according to their website. And this is designed effectively for the target marketing. This is a slim and tone, very much sort so. of that's product. Exactly what this is marketed for, right? It's got the multivitamin in it, and this is this is some of the bad, and it's got sweet the nine five five sucralose. So I'll tell you a story. I think yeah. now now's a good time to gather All around right, children. Go for it. When I used to run the supplement, then mm-hmm. I had a um, I had a, a mask, and I probably shouldn't mention the name of it, but it was a popular bodybuilding brand, mm-hmm. and it was reasonable. Um, I don't. I didn't know what I knew now, so I, I probably couldn't tell you if it had artificial colours or sweeteners in there. But I remember going through and looking at the ratio of carbohydrates to um, uh, carbohydrates to protein yeah. and sugar content, mm. and it was. I believe it was a sixty forty. So forty percent. Yeah. So per hundred grams. Yeah. Uh, not that you'd have a hundred grams, but yeah. 40, 40 grams of, of protein. The protein, I think, was reasonable. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we'll get into that in a minute as well too. Um, but it was 60% carbohydrates. But those carbohydrates, around about uh, 25% was sugars. Mm. 15 grams of sugar about? Somebody bought in a very, and if I mention the name here, especially in Australia, unless you've been living under a rock or, or don't know it, one of the most popular uh, meal replacement in a sachet, mm. huge brand, mm-hmm. I pulled off the mass gainer yes. designed for blokes to to improve, you know, increase muscle mass. Yeah. The reason why guys take a, a mass gainer typically is if they have tr- tr- trouble putting on weight because they're normally not getting enough calories and the body oxidizes the protein through a process called gluconeogenesis mm-hmm. where it will use that for energy and uh, instead of building muscle tissue with mm-hmm. it. So typically guys that are leaner or skinnier or training extremely heavily mm-hmm. – um, need to consume more carbohydrates to use as fuel so that the protein can be used to build muscle. Very simply. Yep, right? very simple. The mass gainer that I was selling to a lot of guys, cyclists and other things like that as well too, yeah. to maintain body composition, lean muscle yeah. tissue, was lower in sugar <laughs> and higher in protein yeah. than what the popular weight loss product was. Oh, no. And, and, and this popular weight loss product was a heap of, I call it a hoss, Heap of something. Oh yes, and, and the S didn't send. Yeah, heap of sugar. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it was right. <laughs> that's what you mean exactly. So it's probably this one. The, 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 the caliber of the protein as well too was absolutely rubbish because what they use is they use things like milk solids, yeah. which is effectively skim milk powder, huh. extremely high in lactose, very low in the amino acid quality as well mm-hmm. too. Um, you know, so 
Yeah, it was just a train wreck, Steve. Now this one is probably this one's probably the most popular meal replacement one I'm talking about with the 31.9 or just say 32 percent sugar. Yeah, and you you talk about milk solids as being a bad protein. I've got a worse one for you. Uh, worse than milk solids. Worse than milk solids. Uh, you don't believe this? It's the number one ingredient in this product according to their website yesterday. Oh. And see, this is where people, the devil's in the deep of, because people will just look at the carbohydrate content. Mind you, the first red flag should be, sorry, Steve, yeah. before you get there to steal your thought, the first red flag should be, number one, how much sugar per 100 grams? Yep. Right, well, what is it? 32%. There you go. This one that I had, which was a mass gainer for bodybuilders, yeah. for skinny young guys, yeah. um, was 25% sugar, yeah. which yeah. I thought was crazy. Yeah. That's five teaspoons of sugar. So this is six te- more than six teaspoons of sugar. Yep. Okay, all right. That's 100 grams. Right, so what is the protein then that's worse than – so skim milk powder, milk solids. Yep. It's got all that too, but that's down the list. <laughs> that's, that's the quality ingredients. Yeah. Um, this one's worse. Think worse. of a protein that's worse. Probably the worst. Cricket protein. <laughs> 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 a cockroach milk protein. It, it, it's a protein that – That's lot, probably worse. That, that, that naturopaths hate that most people try and avoid. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you triggered me now. Yep. So so this protein, before yes. we mention it, is is it's put in there because it's considered to, to improve satiety. That's the number one reason they because they say that. it's a it's a it's a large bundle of amino acids which effectively needs lots of cleaving of amino acids to, to get them down to die tripeptides. Unfortunately, this protein also, and this is the big one, and yeah. thank you, Steve, yeah. crosses the blood-brain barrier. Yes, and Steve, I would say it is your most hated yep. form of protein yep. even. And look, the funny thing is, is that soy protein gets really, really flogged yeah. out. But it's a, this is, I would say, just straight casein. No, it's worse. It's one worse than casein. Casein, caseinate. No. What? Gluten. Gluten or wheat protein. You won't believe it. Look, that's the number one ingredient. You can see that. Wheat pr- Steve. It's gluten. I wouldn't even. So Tony and I have got friends of ours, right? They're creating a, um, they're Italian. Well, one's Italian, one's Greek. Yeah. They're creating a new wood-fired pizza place. Now, yeah. they've brought my son over, Clayton, to try some of their pizzas sure. because he's, He's not celiac, but he's the next best thing. Yep. We're all trying these. By the way, these pizzas are amazing. I think yes. this is the second time they're going to owe me money. Um, they've created this new base, which actually uses uh, rice protein and some other non-gluten oh. sort of flours, right? And nice. We, I'm, I hate gluten bases because my son, you know, when we get mm. them, and they're they're this the soggy and yep. they're, they're not really nice. This was awesome. What's really funny is is that the next day, because we're all trying them, but yeah. Clayton ate them no problem at all, right? Yep. Really great. And literally we would know because he'd be on the toilet like a couple of hours later. Mm. But it wouldn't be good. Um, she goes the next day, gee, I actually felt really good after eating that. Yeah. Because even if you're not gluten intolerant, yeah. there are things in gluten called zolulins. Now, zolulins, ha- yeah. Yeah, they sound like they come from Mars or something, like Romulans, sort like Star Trek, it. right? But they are extremely inflammatory. Very. So even if you're not gluten intolerant, yeah. for the most part, um, unless it's whole – and I think a little bit, Steve, again, you know, I always say this, but I mean, you know, a little bit with seeds and grains and whole grains and mm. milled and mm. blah, blah, blah. Mm. You should try and avoid eating too much of it, right? Can I first ingredient there? First ingredient: wheat protein in brackets gluten. Now, now yeah, I, I love some of the feedback, and there was two people on on the website that had feedback. They said, "This is a great product for weight loss because when I have a sachet, I don't feel like eating because my stomach hurts a little bit." <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you remember? Do you remember those those rapid weight loss pills that they were selling a few years ago, Steve? <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you remember what was in them? Yeah, they were bloody worms in them. No, no, yeah, yeah, they had they had um, uh, uh, parasites. Or E. coli. Oh, E. coli. They, 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 yeah. hey, that'll be rapid nice weight loss. Very you know, rapid. Dysentery. Yep. I mean, just think of the the purging that would happening where, you know, you'd nearly be dying, but hey, yep. you'd, you'd lose four or five kilos in a, in a couple of days. Well, this one's, this one, you know, oh, I've, I've, I've got a study on this actually later. I've got to talk to you, but you'll love it. Um, so wheat protein or gluten is number one ingredient. Number two, shock, shock, sugar. Yep. Number three 
is milk proteins. Okay, there you go. So there's all the bad proteins. So, I mean, here I am talking about casein, thinking it's yep. the devil, yep. which you hate, Steve. Yep, and, and, and it's true, it does cross the blood. Breath. But yep. we're describing gluten. Yep. That that's the number on your, one ingredient on, on, your, on your hierarchy, Steve of of evil protein, <laughs> yeah. Doctor Eva, yeah, um, evil proteins, yeah. Glu- gluten's Glu- the top. Gluten would be the worst, right? It's it's the worst one. And, I and think. mind you, Steve, and again, let's just to clear your bias here yes, okay. because I mean you had AS yep. and you feel that that was a major contributor. Oh yeah, but we're talking about zol, and if you're not sure what we're talking about. Google's onions and mm. actually have a look at what they do in the gut. They're it's pro-inflammatory. Terrible. It's it's not good. So under that, Steve, next one. Uh, uh, sugar? Yeah, milk, yeah. Milk but protein? in terms of protein is concerned, uh, you'd, milk, you'd put, milk protein? Would, would you put milk protein or casein? Which would be worse? Uh, well, casein's part of milk protein, uh, but gluten I think is worse than all of them. I really think that's the worst protein. Okay. Um, but but milk protein does have casein. Yeah. This, this one um, also contains refined soya bean oil, glucose syrups, milk protein, and an artificial emulsifier. Now, I, if I give you the brand for this, and I won't disclose this to the camera, you would definitely have heard of this one. It's one of the most popular ones. I'll show you the title of it. Like, that's a pretty common yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. That's, so, but what's interesting about that, sorry for people who are frustrated and going, damn it, what is it? Oh, we, we can't. It's just not really, worth it. I mean, look, the, the, the thing is, though, Steve, we probably could, but we yeah. just don't want to go there. No. But I think in terms of... Um, in, in terms of everything you're mentioning about, again, yeah. for people that listen to this podcast where we believe that nature knows best, yeah. this is this is pretty horrible. Oh. And again, it's refined. Yes. As I said before, Steve and I, we differ a little bit on on, on milk and pasteurized, mm. homogenized mm. and all that sort of stuff, Steve. And certainly I've gone a lot away from it now. Like I use, you know, almond or mm. you don't use any at all. Sure. But I'll use a little bit, whereas you won't even touch it, right? So not you know, milk. It's but, not, but yeah. this this is a Franken food. This is well, an abomination yeah. of nature. <laughs> and and have a guess what it's sweetened with. Yeah, all that mm. sugar. I would ima- I don't think they'd use Ace K. I just don't think they'd go there. I reckon they'd use um I reckon I reckon they they might use aspartamate. Yeah. But I, I would have guessed they probably use sucralose. Correct, sucralose. Yeah. So after because there's enough sugar in there, they probably don't. I'm just thinking of how it would round out the flavour. Yeah. But yeah, which which is of the three bad mu- evil musketeers. Yeah. Like it's probably the l- least bad one. But well, yeah, we we just talked about it with heart disease, and it's probably it's, it's the least bad, but it's still bad. It's the least bad. What's, yeah. What's it's the, the what's, bad. what's 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 that saying? What's the um what's the problem of choosing the lesser of three evils? <laughs> You're still choosing evil. Well, you are. I mean, so so there's that ingredient now. Now I can go. There, there was a study yeah, using a similar product to that, just a different sort of brand name to that, and um, yeah, they lose weight. So works. But there, there's a list of side effects here. Now, I'll hold the, the side effects up. All the highlights, the side effects. Are you effects. serious? Yep, they're all the side effects that were significant over uh, a normal food-based program. S- as so a comparable like-for-like like product to the one that we've just been well, talking about? it wasn't about. a product. They just used foods that match your calories. And they said, what side effects do you have? So do you want me to list some of the side effects you get with using a product like this? Sorry, I'm just a little bit. Okay, so this is a meal replacement product you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, they, they, they compared a meal replacement, this one we talked about, yep. a very similar one, to a food-based program. Okay, okay? well, um, food's got to win out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we know that. But we know that this actually lost more weight. Yeah, but again, weight is not always a good thing, right? Correct. Yeah. Not, yeah you know what one of the side effects for this was? Of of the of the um the the, 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 meal, what, replacement. the meal replacement shake yeah what and it occurred five times more than the placebo or the, the food based thing alopecia baldness why yeah. Steve 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 you're preaching to the converted yeah, yeah. I mean not that I'd use it but why why oh, what on earth because they are malnourished ah oh, now was this typically in females because um, female alopecia has a lot to do with nutrition right it is this is mainly females this group. And I would imagine yep. that mainly females, these products would not not completely, but mainly be targeted towards females. Correct. They were this one was mainly females. So yeah, it was, it was Actually, quite interesting. It would be interesting. Eighty two percent were female. It would be really interesting to see because I mean there's a few products out there, especially in Australia as well, too. Yeah. And I don't know, I haven't looked at the panel. But um they've been promoted very heavily towards men and female for losing weight. Yeah, there's that's coming up later. 
I haven't even looked at it. Do you, but do you know why? Because the information that I'm going on was based on when I was selling other people's supplements yep. over a decade ago. Yep. Um, but I can tell you why companies do it because mm. they can spend a crap ton more on marketing. Mm. I mean, the funny thing is this kind of is our marketing more about sure. giving away information about being, if you like, educated and mm. because we believe nature knows best in using the highest quality ingredients. Yeah. The difference is, is that making something like this is literally costing us half the cost of what it would cost us to make it. Oh, absolutely. Because we would only use high quality ingredients. Absolutely. But so it makes sense, right? Yeah. I mean, also- Create something that's crap and then market the hell out of it like it's brilliant. Absolutely, and 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 just under twenty percent of people were constipated. What? Uh because it's just lack of fiber, you know, right. real fiber. Yep. Um, but also, um, over ten percent of them um, had uh, diarrhea. <laughs> so, so it kind of balances. Well, that makes sense from the gluten. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And, yeah, and, may, and maybe does. those that are a little bit more sensitive to it. Like again, we talk about people's microbiome, and some people have got a cast iron gut, and yep. other people are a little more sensitive. Yep. So obviously, those that are a little bit more sensitive, but I mean, still, that's pretty significant. Oh, also, seventeen percent got headaches from it. You know, from from this product. Yeah. You know, compared to four percent in the food based group. The- so theorization of the headache, Steve, was it from the inflammation from the from the zonulins? zonulins? Yeah, from the from the gluten probably. Yeah. Uh, and oh, God, so many things in there that yeah. can cause it. Artificial sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even the LDL cholesterol went up almost ten percent in ten percent of people. Okay, and that's the bad one. Bad cholesterol. Yeah. Um, bad. But, but liver damage occurred in ten um, percent of people. I find this hard to believe. Why liver damage, Steve? I mean, typically oh, I we're that. talking about liver, right? Yeah. So w- w- they're throwing gluten. a spanner into a uh, into the Glu- works. Gluten damages your liver. So, uh, gluten has that. Uh, okay, cause leaky gut damages liver. Uh, so, but also they they had twice as many infections. <laughs> so you know, so their just, immune system's dropping. Yeah. And is that because they've got leaky gut and the body's immune system all is that, trying to deal with that? And they may be malnourished of all the polyphenols that aren't in packet food. You know, what I mean, just just. Nutritionally, so were people f- switching out more than just one meal a day with this stuff? Um, this was just one meal a day. This one? Oh my gosh! Yeah. So I know a lot of people that go into VLCDs who effectively eat three of these sachets yep. a day. Yep. Which yep. is horrendous. Yep. And 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 you know you, you know what the, the the conclusion was after all this? Stop it. <laughs> no. Oh. The conclusion was that this this multi center trial demonstrated that this intervention is more effective than tri- traditional food. You know what? It comes down to what you want to find, and this is where we That's talk amazing. about the abstract, right? I mean, yep. you can look at it and you can go, let's just target it on weight loss. Yep. As opposed to the systemic health effects. It's just apps. I mean that that was the sickness. You know what I mean? Now, I have to disclose something here in the paper. Okay. It was funded by the company that made that particular well, product. Okay, no, well, You're no, shocked, aren't you? No, well, no wonder the focus is on, yeah. on, on the one aspect. Yep. You know? Well, you know, I'll read the conclusion. It says, compared with um, food, this product was more effective with greater sustained weight loss. Full stop. That's all they concluded from this trial. Not with significant side effects, which I would say is significant. Like all those percentages I gave you, I reckon. I reckon I could beat that one. I reckon if we just gave people crushed up razor blades, because no. I mean they'd lose heaps of weight. They, they, absolutely, hey, that'd be hey, no, hey you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. So, so get, get shredded. Yep, I oh, know it's it's <laughs> <You're> like, shredded. <laughs> mm. That should be in marketing. I mean. Can you believe this sort of stuff? Yeah, I can actually, Steve. All all day, every day. And, and, and again, I, I think this is because the premise is is that food is no longer medicine. Mm. I mean, here we are talking about food as medicine all yep. the way through, right? Everything yep. that we do, natural. We don't use artificial colors or flavors yep. or preservatives. Look, and we 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 understand as well too that at the end of the day, you can't be perfect all of the time. But as Correct. much as you possibly can. Whereas when you've got yellow cake, when you've got oh, yeah. you know low quality. Um, it's s- s- systemic, right? I mean, and, and it's, yeah. Um, it is. I, I don't really know how to articulate myself properly, Steve, and that's probably part of the problem is that it's just hard to 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 sort of talk about it. Yeah, um, I know. Because it's so pervasive in our, in our, not in our industry, but just in our countries, right? It's, it's absolutely crazy. But that's what I found was the worst of the meal replacements. Right. Okay. I've got the best of the meal replacements here that I thought. Well, if I was going to create a meal replacement, um, for a start, I wouldn't have any 
uh, and again, Steve, mm. and, and this is a high bar, mm. so you know, not yeah. necessarily for everyone, but I would make sure that I've got, uh, I wouldn't have any dairy. Mm. Um, I, I would, I would, um, mitigate gluten as well too, mm. certainly not having any of those sure. sort, sort of things. I'd have a high quality protein, um, you know, in there. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be using synthetic vitamins. I wouldn't mm. be using artificial sweeteners or colors. Yep. Um, but anyway, Steve, what, what else? Well, this one, um, this one is a a, a bet. It's a not great, but this is the best one I found of meal replacements. Okay. First ingredient is a protein blend of milk protein isolate and whey protein isolate. Okay. So no gluten. So better quality. I mean, look better at the quality. end of the day, people go, oh, you know, yep. you bash whey. Well, you know, we just think there's a better option. Better, there is. But yes. but yeah, okay. That and sounds then you've right. Got the, the, the second most abundant ingredient, like sugar, was the other one. This one's fiber. Uh, oh, that's maize good. fiber. So okay. corn fiber. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then you've got natural thickness like like gums and um, xanthan gums yeah, yeah. and maize starch. Mm -hmm. Then you've got flavors like, depending on the flavor, there's coffee or coca. Mm -hmm. And then they add an oil into it of medium chain triglycerides. MCDs, don't mind them. Yeah, yeah, good energy source. Yeah. And then they add a flour, sweet potato flour. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. And then you've got the minerals and vitamins. Um, unfortunately, it's still sweetened with sucralose. Yeah, no, they, they find it hard to get away from because this is what they're trying to do is they're trying to provide something for fat loss. Yep. Obviously, this is a bit smarter, this company, yeah. and they don't want to use um, sucralose or honey or That's agave it. powder or yeah. anything else that you could put. I mean, even use Thormatin or, or go yeah. for Stevia. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Stevia, but there are other non-nutritive sweeteners you could use. Stevia tastes better than what it used to when I was uh, Because of the ago. got rid of the Rubicide A or uh, yeah, B or B whatever. Or one of, yeah, yeah. One of them, yeah. um, but 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 the macro breakdown is pretty good for this. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's fifty four percent protein. Yeah, um, it's got um, thirteen percent fiber. Mm -hmm. uh, it's twenty percent carbohydrate, um, and the sugars in it are about nine percent. Still a bit high on oh, the sugar, Steve. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Are you allowed to call that a meal replacement if the carbohydrate content is so low? Um, yeah, well, they, you are. They they can because they do, ah. and it's classified as a meal replacement. Okay, I mean, I, um, again, I, I thought there's certain guidelines pretty, in terms pretty, of what pretty you common can one do. again. Like you would have heard of that one. I have, actually, I'm reasonably reasonably impressed. Yeah, uh, I mean, like that's. I, I was expecting actually worse from that company. So good on, good on. Yep. Um, uh, I mean, again, not to ATP standard. No, but for a for a mass. Sort of sold product better, better than what I thought. I know. Okay. I know. Um, and I've got a, an honourable mention here because you thought the other one had a lot of sugar. Yeah. This one's got more. Oh, how much? Per serve. Yeah. Serve. Yeah. Twenty three point four grams of sugar per serve. The other per one was per serve. 100. Yeah. So what's the serve size? The serve size for this one was fifty. So you double. Holy that. cow! So it's almost fifty percent sugar. Almost. What? Fit. Now brand the reason why this. That. Well, Shame uh, uh, you may or may not have heard of that one. I have. You can get it from yeah. the supermarket Usual chain. suspects. Can we say the supermarket mm. chain? Yeah. No, 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 no. No. So it's a cheap one though. Yeah. And um, their marketing line is when the taste of salad has got you salivating for something sweet, then you may want to consider this product. Well, at least they're not lying. <laughs> Something sweet, <laughs> yeah. Diabetes in a sh in a cup. Oh, it's a shocker. It is a shocker. A shocker. So, um, but apparently tastes great. <laughs> so do Mars bars. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they. I'm not taking do. them for dieting though. They do. Everybody, oh, I'm not into Mars bars, but people love them. Yeah. You know. So I'm, I'm trying to. I actually prefer Moro bars. Moro bars. They're made by Cadbury. They're oh. in New Zealand. Oh. They're, they're maltier, and they're not quite oh, as sweet. I like the malt, malt. sort of. Mm. Yeah. So there's some um, you got to be careful if you want to get your especially that that first one we talked about mm. now now as you said you you would have heard of that one and and it's in lots and lots of places oh, around yeah. the place yep I, by by far the biggest probably seller I'd biggest. say in that category and and that 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 is horrific mm. um, but there's some um, good news and then there's some um, bad news Let, let's get on to some of the well, I don't know. This is an interesting study. This was published in Nutrients 2021 where they, 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 they took women who were planning on becoming pregnant. Mm -hmm. And as you know, being overweight during pregnancy is not a healthy start. You mm -hmm. need to be healthy weight. Otherwise, baby can have complications. Okay? 
So what they did with this study was very interesting. That they tried them on our meal replacements. Not ours. Not ours. No, no, no. Sorry. no, no. Let's, yeah, let's just reframe that. that. Those, yeah. <laughs> those common ones out in the marketplace. Common ones in the marketplace. Now, now you know, this is not, this was a, a single site randomized control trial. So it was a pretty good trial. Yep. Um, and they just gave them meal replacements, mm -hmm. and I won't go into the brand yep. of it. No, okay. Um, because – All secret squirrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's secret. I have to secret squirrel this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Got, Fair enough. It's got some problems um, with it. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, what they found, and I'll, I'll cut right to the chase, uh, was that if you're on the meal replacement, you lose more weight than the, the, the food one. Okay? So that's sort of like, oh, well. You might think that's again similar to the other study, right? Yeah, similar to the other study. I mean, Nothing. if you're just focusing on that, okay. Yeah, not. Uh, th th this is what surprised me. Okay, so so the difference was I lost five point four kilos on this one and two point three on a conventional dietary uh, over twelve months. Yes. Yep. Um, so basically, it was all good. Yep. Now, now uh, what uh, what they found was that women assigned the meal replacement um, intervention was more likely to achieve pregnancy within 12 months of the 10-week intervention um, compared to the women assigned the meal replacement intervention. Oh, um, so, so the women that were eating real food as opposed to the yeah. a shake. Okay. Yeah. So they were more likely to get uh, pregnant, the yeah. ones that were eating food. Okay. Yes, absolutely. And the conclusion is why? Uh, well, I think, and, and this is this your me, conclusion. They didn't, okay. they didn't say. Yeah. But they probably the the nutrient levels are much higher, like like pregnancy folate or something like that is in foliage, All right. which is plant foods. Yep, which is what you eat when you eat real foods. This one was out of packet. Mm. It doesn't have. I mean, it probably has a bad form of folate in it. Right. You yeah, know, artificial so, ones, synthetic. Yeah. Yep. So so yeah, you lose more weight, but you don't achieve um, as good of pregnancies. Mm. And and I'd never heard of this meal replacement program. So. Um, this is a, 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 a weird one. Can I have a look? Yeah. I'd never heard of it. No. Might be a hospital-based one. No. That's what I'm thinking it is. Yep. So it's not one of the ones we talked about. This is an Australian study. Okay. So, you know, very, very interesting. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's, it, 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 was a, it was a bit bit of an interesting study, this one, because I thought, wow, that's interesting. So you lose more weight. You, you get better. No, no question about it on, on meal replacements. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the problem with that is 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 it have side effects. And mm -hmm. remember those side effects listed before that that can affect pregnancies. Yeah. So you've got to be a bit cautious about that. Now, here's here's the, the the solution. Let's say you want to go on a meal replacement program. Okay, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want it. I want you to eat healthy. I want you to exercise. Do you know? And I was just thinking about that, right? Yeah. I mean, if I was going to create a meal replacement, it would be freaking expensive for a start. Yeah. Because it would probably be around. It would cost you probably about five bucks a shake, because you, you'd get. And it depends on who the target market is. But let's say it's predominantly females. The protein in there is to maintain and support lean muscle tissue, not mm -hmm. sort of build muscle tissue. If yeah. that makes sense, you know what I mean. So. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd be going for probably 20, 20 grams of, of protein. Um, I would be using low GI carbohydrates. Mm. Um, I'd be throwing in a whack ton of polyphenols, um, mm. probably natural vitamin sources as well too. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe some, some, some chromium or something like that as well yeah. too. Um, all, nat all natural though. Yep. Um, there'd be no artificial. It, it, it would cost a fair bit. It I don't know if it would. Be, I don't know if it would be v viable, right? Yeah. Because you know what I mean. Like, like what we. Because you're going. If you're going to replace a meal. Yeah. And again, as we say, it's it's only. It's not even something I'd say you take one sachet every day. Yeah. Because as we say, Steve, variety is the spice of life, right? So mm -hmm. the problem is you get into one, unless you created like a system where you had like, you, you know. Five of them, mm. and they had different, different compounds colors. in them. Yeah. That would be kind well, of. Well, cool. it, it could work. I mean, the, the trick with the meal replacements, and they've done surveys on this, and what they found was that people are willing to spend a little bit of money on it because they compare it to the price of a meal. Now, a price of a meal. But these things, Steve, they're, 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 they're horseshit. I mean, oh, excuse yeah. the language, but yeah. I mean, they yeah. are, that other one that we we're looking at, mate, oh. I reckon per serve, that would be costing cents. Yeah. Whereas the one I'm thinking of, like for us to make it, mm. you, you're probably looking at like dollars. Yes, like per shake. Absolutely. Um, and and there is a there is a cheaper solution which I'll get to at the end of it. But let let's create that the shake. Um, mm. So so 20 grams of protein. Let's say you're a man. 
You might want to. I please. am a man. Let's I don't care what you've heard, Steve. All right, I have heard things. <laughs> Who, who's been talking? Your wife, Taylor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so let's let's create this shake now. Now, one of the shakes, the the better of them, had thirty grams of protein. So let's match that. <laughs> Look, thirty grams of protein. I think for for. For this stand, look, it depends what the the, the goal is, Steve. But okay, I, I could go with that. I mean, again, you're ramping up your cost if you're using a high quality ingredient. Yeah. See, this is where if they're using a milk solid or skim milk powder or gluten, yeah. it's costing them like you know, like you, it's right down the bottom. So people look at it and go, "Oh, this one's got 30 grams of protein." Yeah, it's like yes, yeah. It's, yeah. Do you know, the cheapest meal replacement I found was two dollars forty something, two two forty eight. What? Which was the third one I showed you with all that sugar. Do you know how much some of the synthetic B vitamins are? Well, I added them. For, for, we're doing some contract manufacturing, mm. and I added them to someone's um, product. And I'm not having a crack or anything. Yeah. The, the, the B vitamins. Well, you saw it, Steve. Yes, yeah, I did see it. One cent. Yeah, yeah. It, it cost one cent. Not even – you wouldn't even almost register. So you it. look at some of these com- products out in the marketplace and you're going, yeah. oh, they've got this and they've got that and they've got this and they've got that. And you look at the amounts and it's like – but most people don't know. They're like, oh. Yeah. How much should be in there? Well, it's in there. I don't know how much, but it looks good. Yeah. You could create a laundry list of ingredients that could probably cost you like, you know, 15 cents. I know. And and did you know one of them has a five-star health rating? Oh. Five for star. You know what? You can you can rig you can rig if you understand what the buttons are to push, right? And yeah, yeah I bet your honey's probably like a one star, right? Oh yeah, honey's bad. Evil. Those, Peanut butter, that evil stuff, evil. evil. But but isn't that amazing that 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 something like that uh, in one of them is, and and I won't mention which one, but there, there was, was one. It, it wasn't the first one, was it? No, oh, okay. no, it yeah. was the second one I spoke okay. to, which was the better. Of yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't the yeah. worst one in the world. No, no, no. But you can do better. Yeah, but you can do better. Yeah. But but creating creating it, all right, there's certain rules around it. So yeah. you have to have vitamins, but why wouldn't you add natural vitamins? I know natural vitamins. You know, Steve, it's all about cost. Money makes the world go round. Yeah, you know, that's why I keep saying to you, mate. You got to yeah. shake your money maker. Absolutely. And and what I would do is I would put like a if I was doing it and I had to his rattles by the way. <laughs> I I'd, I'd put like a greens powder in it just to give you some nutrients. So would I. I guess yeah. then you're battling flavor profiles and tastes. Yes. So you're getting milk solid, Steve. Let's face it, it's quick. Oh it, yeah. It's like you yep. put a bit of strawberry in the yummo. Yep. And people are so driven by anything, you know, natural You've got bitter notes to deal with. Yeah. But the, as I was saying this before as well too, like we're working with natural compounds, Steve, where we're trying to put really healthy stuff in there. Yeah. The natural taste of some of these compounds has a bitter note. Yeah, so does. we're putting things like spearmint and other compounds mm-hmm. in, which are natural to sort of mask that. It's flipping I mean, it's high it's science, right? Yeah. And and it's and it costs us fortune. But when you're coming up against products which literally taste like cordial yeah. or like or like milkshakes. Yep. It's it's difficult. Well, I know, and, and it does have those bitter notes. And, and I'm not are, complaining. I mean, it's, yeah. it's our pleasure to do it, Steve. I love it, and yeah. I get a real kick out of it when we go, "Oh yeah, we nailed that, right?" But it's 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 like it's the level of difficulty is, is pretty diff- high. I mean, we we add we, I don't, we can probably say this that we add natural bitter blockers to some of our yeah. products. Yeah, yeah, because they're freaking notes. expensive. Oh, well, well, one was seven hundred and something dollars. It just a to, kilo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just yeah. to enhance the flight, just to get rid of some of the bitterness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because we want compliance. But going back to this meal replacement, the, the ideal one, you certainly wouldn't have the milk solids in there. You wouldn't use any gluten, of course. Um, but, but you no, like an hour's. Yeah. If we were going to create one, yeah. you know what, Steve? Let's do one theoretically on paper and see what it comes let's, out at. Well, oh, oh yeah, okay. Well, Why don't course, we? Yeah, well, let's. I mean, we'll, we'll sell it. It'll be like you know, a bucket this big will probably cost you a hundred bucks, but it'll be the best thing since sliced I, bread. I I don't think the price is 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 a as big a factor as you're saying for this product because a meal replacement. Yeah. If a meal costs ten dollars. Yeah. Then if if your serve costs five dollars or six dollars, you're saving still money if it's a meal replacement. Well, let me say this as well too for mm-hmm. people that are really busy and on the go. Yeah. How many people go and eat the same thing every day anyway? You know Uber what I mean? Eats. Pardon? You get away with Uber Eats. But if you if you look at it from a practical point of view, because yeah. at the end of the day, we live we understand that we live in a fallen world, Steve. Let's mm. put it that way. That we're not agrarian anymore. Mm. We don't take time out and, mm. you know, sit down and mm. have our 
our, you know, our lovely lunches there anymore. I mean, typically you're right, Steve, for a large percentage of the population that are busy, and I'm not judgmental here at all, I understand, right? Like it's it's Uber Eats, it's the same thing every yeah. day. You know, the variety of vegetables, there might be two or three if they're lucky. Yep. Um, you know, a, a, so I understand where, dare I say it, and it's nothing is better than eating fresh, eating local, Absolutely. eating in season and eating a variety of foods. Mm. There's nothing better than that. But Steve, what percentage of the population do you honestly feel does that? Nobody. Probably zero, uh, unless you're living on a farm somewhere. I, I reckon maybe, 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 maybe less than 5% of the population. Oh, yeah. I'm being very generous yeah. here. So therefore, if you did create a meal replacement that only used quality ingredients, mm. was it all natural, where you fortified it with other compounds potentially that may be missing in the average person's food diet. Yeah, like a polyphenol mix. That actually would be interesting. We should run it. So I guarantee I, I, you it would come out with a price point that people wouldn't be able to afford it. I know. I mean, considering that these- uh, I'm kind uh, of interested now. Yeah. We'll do a follow-up to this video. Steve and I will get onto it and have a look. And just forget price. We'll throw that to yeah, the side. Yeah. And then we'll just create a wish list and we'll yeah. go, righto, here it is. See, what, See how we go. And we won't add all that sugar in there. We won't add any sucrose. No, 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 no. Well, no, no, no only natural stuff. Yeah. All natural. Yep. Has to be good for you. Mm. Um, but I guarantee you, if you compared that with some of these other compounds, oh. like, you know, per serve, you'd be looking at over five bucks. Yeah. Per serve. You would. And and the average meal, like, like I don't know how much Uber Eats is. Like, like I don't know how much they, but they, they, they range from around $20. Am I right? Is it? I don't know. I don't, I've never had Uber Eats, honestly. I've always just, I don't know, what's the word? Cooked myself. Yeah, so, we just cut that part. But Steve says some very offensive oh, things to me in terms yeah. of getting to the kitchen and getting me some eggs. Yeah, so, yes, something let's like say that. it that way. Okay. It was something like that. Yeah. So we but, but but you know, let's let's create it. And and because if, if people cost ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a meal and yours is five dollars a meal, mm -hmm. it's gonna save you money, even mm -hmm. though it's top quality stuff. And, and look, here's here's the thing as well, too, like, you know, we're the manufacturer. Yep. And and we also work on a relatively small with some of our products on a pretty low margin as mm. well too. But once you've got multiple hands involved, mm. obviously the cost of these things goes up significantly. Yeah. So the, the 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 more direct that you can get the product and or the volume is large enough which helps you to decrease the price. And that's the balance that you've got yeah. to look at. So but anyway, let's have a look, Steve O. It's always fun. Let's do uh, it. No no compromise. Yeah. You know, I still laugh at our, our pre-workout that we created, which literally is, and we've been doing others, probably 50% more expensive than the next nearest one. Oh. And that's based on our cost, yeah. let alone, you know. Flavor costs, because they're all natural. Yeah. And colors, like, uh, well, sweet potato is one of the colors in one of the products. Um, I mean, you know, that's yeah. natural as you can get. It's funny, eh? It, it it's is fun. funny. It's fun. I, I laugh, and, and, I, yeah. and I love the industry that we're in, Steve. Yeah. And again, the funny thing is, is that we're talking more to the sort of 25 plus, a little bit more educated, who are actually looking for health, not just uh, performance at any cost. And what I mean by that is that I believe our products are, are excellent, mm. but the difference is, is that the cost of the ingredients is a little bit more. But you get what you pay for, right? It is. It's true. So what else, Steve? All right. So so let's try and compromise with all this stuff. Let's say you you, you need a meal replacement because that's what the yep. podcast is about. Sure. It's like, no, no, I'm going to eat vegetables. No, no, no. Right, right. It, 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 let's say you want a meal replacement. All right. There is an alternative, and that is make your own meal replacement. Sure. Now, the disadvantage yep. might take you a few seconds longer. Yeah. And I'm, I'm saying seconds yeah, yeah. because yeah. it's not – and, and, and but it'll be vastly more healthy. Okay. And probably cheaper. Yep. So what you simply do is blend up like a smoothie, but you have to do it a certain way. Sure. The first thing is that you need minerals. Now, nuts are a very good source of minerals. Love nuts. Yeah. So n nut milks or anything like that is okay. So mm -hmm. so make sure that you've got nuts mm -hmm. or any sort of, you know, any sort of nuts or seeds. Okay. Yep. Keep it simple. Flax yep. seeds is very good. So it also And a lot of people of avoid them, Steve, because of the amounts of fats that are in them. No. Oh, I love macadamia nuts. Yeah. I love them, right? And mm. they've actually got really good sources of oil in there. Mm. And the other ones that men should eat, but they need enough of is Brazil nuts. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. Whatever nuts you want. And we're, we're going to blend this. Yep. So it's going to be nice and nutty flavor and it's not going to be oily in your mouth or anything mm. like that. Um, second thing is you've got to add quality protein. Yep. Collagen's the best. Well, this is where we sell a lot of our unflavored collagen, yeah. Steve. So they add that into a greens mix or mm. what have you. And yep, yep. Now, now this doesn't have to taste bad because then you start with your fresh fruits and vegetables. Now, they can be frozen. Mm -hmm. The fresh is best, but let's be convenient. Well, and often, Stephen, we've looked at this before as well too. If you're getting high-quality snap frozen stuff, some of yeah. the ingredients, some of the, the, the natural uh, vitamins, minerals, and even polyphenols mm -hmm. are there. 
There is a degradation that does occur with polyphenols and frozen stuff over time, though. Isn't Slightly, there? yeah, yeah. It does, it does degrade. But but I'm trying to have our one. We're, we're trying to be. We're trying to be. Yeah. Real world people. Yeah. Because as I said again, and this is where where possible, you know, at least make one of your meals as just like your dinner time and yeah. you know, just, you know, again, snacking on fresh yeah. fruit and vegetables through the day where you possibly can. I'm compromising here because we're, we're trying to compete with the meal replacement. I think we're going to kick these out. Co- the convenience way. is really important, yeah. as I said. So for, for the five percenters that are purists, yep. this podcast is not for you. No. You're eating your, 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 your food and you're eating, everything yeah. is great. And, but for the for the executive, for the for the uh, you know house um, husband or house mm. mum or what have you that's really busy, mm. that's, you know, crazy for time hmm. this is the next best right? it is and so you're going to have collagen now add the collagen because collagen is you know great very low allergenic and very good quality protein unless you're a vegan unless you're a vegan um so so all right so we put collagen in now the yep. reason why i like protein is because it keeps you full longer yep and also it stops you losing muscle mass mm-hmm. there's other benefits essential amino acids and like. especially if you look at body balance i mean again if we look at yeah. the freiburg university there's some cool stuff there but anyway well, the, the body balance is the best one because it actually helps with weight loss, mm-hmm. if we can say that. Mm. I'm sure we can. We can. Because, yeah. So, so, so you're going to get this, you're going to get the benefit of the quality protein, the benefit of the, the weight loss, the benefit of um, being, being very, very pure, very low allergenic, not, no gluten or dairy and that at all. Um, and then you're going to add these nuts to it and you're going to add these fresh, and I'm just going to say frozen berries because sure. you can get mixed berries. Mm-hmm. So, so you're only Sweet. adding- eat. Yeah. So it's like four ingredients, mm-hmm. and you blend it up yourself, and you can put nut milk in there if you want, like mm-hmm. almond mm-hmm. or whatever. It's it's dairy free, it's mm-hmm. sugar free, mm-hmm. it's, it's I haven't. Yeah, it sounds great, Steve. I want one now. Well, yeah, I mean, and and it's like a, a morning smoothie that that I think people should consider if like because you got to remember there's an, I don't know, but tens of thousands on these the shakes that I showed you. They're big sellers, aren't they? Mm-hmm. So just going to that next level of doing a little bit yourself. You're going to get vastly more benefit, and I believe that the price will be pretty good too there because all your the product you're paying for is only like our, our collagen protein or a collagen protein, and they're pretty cheap per scoop. Mm-hmm. You know. The other one, obviously, Steve, that I always worry about with regards to uh, consuming too many meal replacements mm. and not eating enough is mm. mastication. Yeah. Like that chewing, saliva, digestion, those sorts of things are important. It's very important to masticate. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Don't press the button. <laughs> yeah. Nice oh, one. nice one. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Um, You've been censored, Steve. Jeez, that's that's a proper word. Uh, anyway, so so the beautiful thing about the berries is you get the polyphenols, you get the antioxidants, yep, uh, and you get a lots of ORAC, which is oxidative radical absorption capacity. So yep. it's a perfect antioxidant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Natural fibers. Yep. Strawberries, uh, blueberries are. Excellent raspberries anyway. if you can get them. You can get blues, boys and berries, but they're a bit expensive. Expensive, yeah. But uh, all those things are fantastic. Um, yeah. I'm a huge fan of pomegranate. Throw those in from yeah. time to time, especially when you're coming into that season, and even get a little bit of the pericarp pith. Um, don't be afraid of the seeds, especially if you blend them up right. Like yeah. you know, chew them, crunch on them. Your yeah. smoothie should be a little chunky, maybe. You can use any fruit you want or anything fresh. So something fresh is going in there. Yep. So that that's the key. Now you can add also turmeric and ginger, of course, um, which are great for warming the the not physically warming, but giving it the Chinese medicine warmth to it that, that, mm-hmm. that helps with digestion. Well, one of the things I, I was doing a lot, Steve, is using a, a cold press juice extractor. Yeah. So, so um, and then adding things like yeah turmeric and ginger into those. Um, beautiful. Mm. Nice and warming. It felt really great. You could throw some 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 non-flavored protein powder in there, like some collagen, yeah. unflavored collagen. Um, now, yeah. now we have a product product time, but, but we we have flavored collagen and we have non-flavored collagen. You could use like a, a, a sort of bland flavor, like a vanilla flavor with this, or no sure. flavor at all. I like no to. flavor at all. Yeah. yeah, that way you don't even taste it. Yeah, yeah, but you're getting the benefits of it, and it's not masking the natural flavors yeah. of the the fruit and vegetables it that you're like getting. Berries. So I mean that that that's our alternative to some of these. Now now some of these are just horrific. Yeah. Uh, have horrific side effects. Yeah. Have have synthetic vitamins and synthetic sweeteners in there. Real bad. Mm-hmm. In fact, even the better one of this had a synthetic sweetener in there. Yeah. Sucralose. Yeah. And Which we're huge advocates against. Against. I yeah. mean, we will know. not use artificial sweet. And again, we've been on this bandwagon for, and it's nice, Steve, to yeah. finally see the science vindicating after vindication after vindication about. Um, synthetic um, and 
yeah, synthetic sweetness. And it's getting serious. You know, in the old days, it was just, I'd upset your gut, this artificial sweet and stuff. But now it's increasing, you know, vascular disease. I mean, that's horrific. Yeah. That's yep. horrific. I mean, you know, we, we talked about another segment about uh, strokes and heart disease. So watch for this stuff. And, and, and in your at-home one, you won't have it. Mm. Ours has no artificial sweetness and I, I have to say never will, will it? No, never. There's not a, not a plan for one. That, never. You know, no. So I mean, again, it's some how you say some things you can go, okay, mm. from time to time, sure. Um, but some things it's like, mm. no, nah, no way. It's a no way. No. Um, so, I mean, that's the story about sort of meal replacements. They work. Unfortunately, yep. papers show they work. I want to say unfortunately, people might go, well, I want a meal replacement because that's, I, I, you know, and all you do is just substitute your worst meal. For 80% of the general population, Steve, mm. convenience is king. Yep. It really is. And so just make better decisions. And I, I say the people that we're talking to now, probably of the people listening to this podcast, I reckon 10% would actually be bothered to go out and make their own because people are busy. Mm. They've got life, they've got family, yep. they've got they've got work. I mean, people are just, you know. So again, this is where we might be able to help out with something there too. Absolutely. It was not for everybody. I mean, it's better not to have any meal replacement. But if you're going to, make your own. Mm. That's what I think because it, it really is – it's pretty much just as quick. You don't get any of the, the artificial sweeteners or artificial vitamins and minerals and you don't get any – Or wait for ATP science to make theirs and then use that. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, then, then – And by can, the way, we don't have any plan to do it. No. But we, we, I just want to look at it from a cost point of view, Steve. What it would actually look like. It would be fascinating. We'll we should be. do that. Yeah. We'll come back with you on, on the next podcast. But Cool. But so so that's the good, bad and ugly for the um, um, meal replacements. All right. Yeah. So anything else, Steve-O? No, I think no. that pretty much covers it. Make your own if you're going to have one or, or just eat real food. Yep. That will, real food's good. Portion um, control is really good. Eating regularly. Get a plan. Stick to it. Work with a personal coach. Work with a you know a, a PT or, or, or a nutritionist. Somebody that can hold you accountable. Do it as a family. Make it fun. Yep. Um, but yeah, I appreciate these things – don't change overnight, um, and and you know you, there's no such thing as perfection. There's just progress. Progress so, is better than perfection. That's it. You know because you're getting there. Yeah, that's so, it. So, so that that's the lowdown on all this. Steve-O. Yes. We get letters. I know. Lots of letters. Love letters. Lo- a love letter. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, they, no. I'm not sure. Letter. I'm not sure if it's a love letter. Um, no, it's not. Let's let's see. Yeah. All right. How's it go? So th- this one's uh, writing. And guys, please. Send in your questions mm-hmm. um, and get in contact with our team. You can leave questions on YouTube. You can you can email us at info at atpscience.com. Uh, you can talk to our team um, on the website as well too. But we want to hear questions from you. Mm. If you've got health concerns and we answer them on the podcast, um, if Steve and I read them out, uh, you're going to get a little um, a little gift. Gift. A gift. There we go. So um, this one comes from Megaphone99. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, and her name is Meg. So Megaphone99. Meg, um, please, if you can jump onto the website or go to info um, at adpscience.com, the guys are going to send you a little thank you for this. So uh, this is what Meg said. Love your work. Hi, Stephen Jeff. Love your podcast. Uh, and you have really sparked my interest in fueling an all-round healthy lifestyle, not just food alone. Mm. I'd love to hear your thoughts on hormonal birth control mm. and the dangers of using them for extended periods of time. Wow. Along with the most optimal ways for young females to track their cycles naturally, the best lifestyle exercise regime for different points during their cycle, and how best to support their home hormones naturally. There's a lot of information out there, and I'm not um, convinced the big corporations rolling out these pills have our best interest interests at heart conspiracy theory maybe love your work meg well meg <laughs> we like to say as well too it's only a conspiracy theory until it becomes a conspiracy fact and that takes around about six months, six months but well, in all seriousness though it's always good to question everything and i'm tired and tired and tired and tired of these large corporations and politicians saying that we shouldn't question things absolutely we need to question things and at the same time so long as it is done well, it's all the information that's coming out over the last couple of years with things that shall not be named yes. that are now shown to be 100% true, and I mean by that in terms of some of the people that were arguing against the narrative, mm. uh, is, is overwhelming. It's not. But what I was going to say with regards to that is that we just healthy, respectful debate, Steve, is always yep. good. Um, but Steve, yeah, in terms of that with regards to is there any quick advice that you can give for me? 
Oh, yeah, do your research um, because there are different classes of contraceptive pill and, in fact, the modern ones aren't as safe as the older ones. Right. Yes. Yeah. So we, we, we're very concerned as well too, potentially with those things that go under your skin as well too, Steve-O. Yep. What are they called again? Well, there's there's lots of different names for them, but they deposit synthetic progesterone in there, in your arms yep. and that sort of thing. Uh, IUDs, there's different types. There's hormonal ones, non-hormonal ones usually. Yep. And there's also different classes of these. And so the new Yazes and Diane 35s have more side effects than the second generation pills. It was a good podcast and we sort of really break that yeah. down. So we'll, we'll find out, Meg, what that one was for yeah. you as well too. But um, yeah, good to hear that um, you're you're enjoying the podcast mm. and uh, yeah, everything is, is interrelated with health and diet and exercise. So, um, and again, thank you. Get in contact with the guys and they're going to ship you a little thank you. Um, and this week- do we, have a a bit. we do. We we've got a lucky subscriber. Oh, good. Which I'm never called. I never get lucky. But um, <laughs> Andrea Dalton, you are lucky. So, <laughs> so if you can reach out again to the guys, jump onto the website and say, "Hey, I'm I'm a lucky Dalton," um, and we're going to send you out a thank you as well too. Because guys, we need we need the questions. We want your we questions. Do. We love your comments, and um, I think everybody wants to get lucky. And if you want to get lucky, hit the subscriber button. I guess that's a, one way to get lucky. Isn't well, it? it is. Andrea got yeah. lucky. I like that. What's that, um, Colette? You can ring my bell. Yes. See? Yeah. We know. We yeah. know that one. Yeah. But um, as, as painful and horrible as is, it's you know, iconic for Australian, uh, yeah, but ring our bell and and push our notifications. Is that what we do? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, and drop a like and absolutely, guys, drop a comment too, yep. please. Thank you. Oh, Steve, thank you. No worries. Thank you. And we'll thanks you. everyone for listening. We will be back next week with some more. Oh, wait. Okay, bye.